everyone, it's Daphne, and we're working on page six and seven, and they're gonna be mirror images of each other. And they're just like page two and three. So each page has a pocket, and the pocket is three by seven, three by seven. It's gonna go on the bottom. building out of order so I'm just making sure my page is right side up and it was all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use this print as the backdrop and this is from the six by six collection so before I put glue on it I want to make sure I can slip it in the pocket are really giving me fits. My arthritis needs a week off. Come on. This is ridiculous. You just saw me slip this in here so we know it fits. There we go. Sorry, you guys are getting so much of the top of my head, but part of that is my hands aren't working very well. And the closer they are to me, for whatever reason, it seems to work better. Okay, there we go. So that's the backdrop. This is the pocket. 12 by 12. And that beeping in the background is my darn dishwasher. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I gotta do housework just like everybody else. Dang it. Okay. I think that turned out pretty. These are my 10 by 10s. So I mean, sorry, 10 by five scored in half. Okay, and then the last thing we're gonna do is cover our tag. And this is from the Patterns and Solids. is I don't know if it's the tags or the die but they're not lining up very well for me so I'm focusing on getting an even border and then I'm coming back with an exacto knife and working this edge down um, like I said I'm not sure if it's the tag itself or the die but it's not lining up so you guys might have that problem too and if you do just push it down with a tool and then come back around with an exacto knife and cut cut it out and it'll look much better. And if you press it down when you're cutting, instead of cutting into the cardstock, you're cutting against the grommet. So it should be, you know, pretty easy to do and not cut into your cardstock at all, into the tag itself. Okay. All right, good deal. Oh, good grief, can't get that picked up. Now it looks like I got a little white sticking out, so I'm just gonna hit it with my ink, put it in there, and that's what it's gonna look like. Now we're just gonna repeat that process on page seven. And I'm just gonna do that off camera, save you guys some video time. Once you do one, you don't, don't really need my help on the second one. Now, the way things are shaping up before I tune you guys out. The way things are shaping up, we're gonna have paper to add to the inside of these and or just add more inserts to the book itself. Um, we've got a ways, uh, I've got 
page four and five yet to do, and I went ahead and trimmed down all my 12 by 12s to uh, six by six, and you can see I've got plenty. So in the walkthrough, you'll see that I've added, I've potentially added more um, inserts and, and covered, you know, both sides of these. Uh, the large inserts that go into the pocket pages, I, I was able to cover front and back, and those are um, done in this pattern in both red and blue, if you guys wanna do those ahead of time. This is such a busy pattern, it's really hard to layer, and that's why I took what I had left over of this and covered my um, large inserts, because I had quite a bit of that red left over. So I had enough to do um, four fronts in the red and the backs in blue. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go offline and do this, and when I come back, we'll be working on page four and five.